Pick up sewing you can make yourself. Yeah. And geometry. Geometry? Yeah. Why do you need geometry? Because geometry is the use of science to understand the shape of things. It, I was watching you a... You don't need to study geometry. You, you to knit a jumper. <laughs> you'd have to understand shape. A, two di right, a, pi a fucking item of clothing. Is basically two pieces of two dimensional. I fabric. know what the fuck a piece of clothing is, Neil. I no, mean, you I'm don't have to study geometry to make it. Right, you make. You may have to you understand. take these two two dimensional pieces of fabric and put them together. Oh. Sew them together, and you have an item of clothing. And you've measured them and all that shit. You put on the person. The person is a different shape because we have a third dimension. That's where geometry comes in. I. Uh... I know! Okay! Yes. That's why our geometry comes into it. That's why clothes never fit. I think that's a bit of a contradiction of us sitting here in clothes. Yeah. No, like, no one If that was the case, clothes. we'd all be bonk naked. No one wears clothes that properly fit. Like, shoe sizes are always different and all that shit. From store to store, shoe sizes vary. Whether you believe it or not. It's a fucking fact. It's been proved. Proven, yes. Yes. <laughs> that between Zing. the brands and the whole fucking all the countries and all the companies and everything else, an ace with a Nike isn't a fucking eight and an Adidas isn't a fucking ace in a Puma. Puma. <laughs> Puma. Whatever. Let me get started. It's Adidas. Yeah, Adidas. Puma. I like it. <laughs> no. No, I would say like it's not. Although it should, uh, should be Nike, because that was the Greek god that the name came from, or goddess, I should say. But 